Man, I really just start the same the stream the same way uh, every time, don't I? I with I love this game that we're playing today, and and that's what I'm gonna say. I I didn't even pull a song up or anything. I just um used the title screen today, so that's pretty cool. Uh, that I was able to just do that. Uh, but yeah, Hollow Knight. I uh, very excited. Very, very, very excited. I have played this game before, but I have not played this game on PC before. So, I'm just gonna get into the game. Uh, yeah, I literally haven't played it to the point that, like, I'm doing my monitor setup. That's funny. Would you, I'll reset that later if I need to. This game is so good. Bugs, bugs. It's bug game. So... I guess now is not a terrible time to talk about audio. I've been having just so many audio troubles with this stream in the first uh, week or so of streaming here. But I finally went and did a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and I, I added a, an equalizer and a compressor and an expander and a limiter and all that stuff. So hopefully like I won't just be peaking the mic anymore. Um, and hopefully the settings can like stay as they are. But we'll see. I remember the first time I watched all this intro, I had no idea what was going on. Like at all. But we see the infection is spreading, and this is the titular Hollow Knight that we see in this cutscene. And the three watchers that we're going to be going after. I'm excited to be playing Hollow Knight again. I'm probably going to be super rusty, but uh, hopefully it goes uh, as well as uh, Cuphead did the other night. And I shake off the rust pretty quick. Oh, this game just feels so good to play. I was saying this about Cuphead too, but those there are a couple games that the devs just really nail the feel. Um, and this is so, so, so one of them. It just, everything feels painted and so beautiful. Um, the sound design and all of it is just so good. We see our, our protagonist, the knight, looking longingly at the city that we're about to approach. I think that's just Dirtmouth that he sees, but I don't know. Nice. Here we start with pretty much no abilities. This is, this game is such a good example of a Metroidvania. Um, you just, you pretty much start with nothing and you're constantly getting new abilities as you go that give you new, like, movement tech and stuff. Ooh, that was dumb. I don't think I even... Yeah. Oh, no, it, it does let me uh, heal already. That's... Interesting. I've been eagerly awaiting uh, news about Silk Song for just ever. Me and just about everyone else. But, um... Still nothing. So here, here I am playing Hollow Knight again. Uh, I think this is just telling us how to heal, yeah. I would like to change it, the... Maybe maybe there's some Steam controller configuration nonsense that I need to do to, um... Get, um... It to actually put the PlayStation controller icons on screen in-game. I, I, I know I had it setting it, set it... I, wow, words. I had it set up and working a while ago, but... Uh, no longer. Oh, I didn't even see that spike. Okay. I remember the f feeling like the jump felt so floaty when I played this game the first time. But... Oh, that was cool. I knocked that guy into the, uh... Spike. Oh, I remember getting... Some cool stuff like that happen. Nice, and we take the lifeblood hearts. Very cool. I think that's... That was added in... One of the DLCs, probably the one called Lifeblood, if that would make the most sense. It's just, it's so satisfying to break all the stuff too, and this tutorial section is pretty well done. Especially considering this is an area that you can come back to later in the game, uh, and find more stuff. I think there's even a charm I can get over here, maybe I'll try. It's not terribly hard, is it? I remember thinking this was like really hard to do, uh, when I played this game before. But it's not so bad. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I never have any idea what those um things are saying. But we get Fury of the Fallen. I think this is just here for speedrunners, right? And that's a funny first charm to get. Oh, it just puts us back here. That's cute. The sort of world connectedness and shortcuts and everything in this game are like so incredible. The only game I can think of that does it better is Dark Souls 1. Um, and I mean, it's Dark Souls 1. Okay, actually look at the game. This is really easy platforming. Don't screw it up. <laughs> um, yeah, speaking of Dark Souls 1, I think I would like to play that on stream too. I might even um, just do a complete abomination and... Um, Oh, did I fall down in the thing again? I think I have to go through here to complete this area, but um, no more spikes are falling because we've been through here once already. Yeah, these shortcuts just feel so satisfying. The sound effects and everything are so good. Nice little entrance into Hellenist. And yeah, as I was saying, I'm, I'm going to commit like an act of terrorism against the um, against the streaming world, and I will play Dark Souls 1 on the Switch um, on stream, which uh, may upset some people, but I, I will do it anyway, I'm not afraid. It's funny, the controller, uh, I thought that it would use Nintendo controller inputs and I was gonna have to like relearn what I was doing when I first got Dark Souls on the Switch, because for some reason I didn't want to get it on the computer yet, um, but no, it, it just has, like, the normal input scheme that you would expect for an Xbox controller, which is pretty funny. Alright, you. Elderbug. We see him for the first time. I think if you ignore him, he gets all sad, so we're not gonna do that. Um, just because I, I couldn't bear to do it to him. I think we, there's a flower I can bring this man later in the game. Uh, that I, I think I, I will endeavor to do that. That should be fun. It's just warning us of what's to come. No, oh, no, wrong button. I guess I may as well just equip this. It's basically just the, um, what do you call it? The red tear stone ring, right? Nice. I sell it in Cornifer are such good characters too. Um, and the nonsense words that the characters say uh, when you interact with them is one of my favorite things in this game. Actually, just, I like it so much. I don't think there's anything I can do over here yet. I need a key to get in there. Small key, I think. We'll just go down into the world itself. Let's just go. I don't remember the layout of the map really that well. Uh, cause it's been a couple years since I have actually played this game. But... We'll just explore then, I guess. It, it'll be like new... Oh god, if... The player control feels so funky in this game until you get used to it. I remember this exact feeling when I first played it. And I think a lot of people, um... Sort of get like thrown off by this game for that reason but if you stick with it and get used to it it really starts to feel quite good we will uh, visit the temple of the black egg and talk to our friend what's his name again i don't remember quirrell or something yeah it's quirrell this guy's cool there's a uh, neat little detail that you can notice on this screen if you know what's going on with the game but i don't know if i want to spoil it just yet. Who knows what lies deeper below us indeed. I... I certainly don't. So let's, let's keep moving. I love the design of the, like, houses and the th sort of 3D... What do, you, what do you call that? Parallax? 3D design of the stuff? It really gives, uh good sense of scope for like how big the temple is <clears throat> as the parallax scroll occurs and the areas just all feel so distinct too which is a really important thing for game design and then you you come back here later in the game right um and it's a little harder enemies are a little tougher 
uh, which I think is really cool. Um, really glad they did stuff like that in this game. I think there's something worth doing up there, but you're not meant to be able to do it yet, which is fine. It's one of those Metroidvania aspects. I think there's a big scary enemy this way. I said I didn't remember, but there is. This guy's not too bad. Just jump over the thing. And don't get hit. That's what we were saying when we were playing Cuphead too, is just don't get hit, you know? Oh! Yeah, it'll do you dirty. But I think he does give us time to heal, so that's nice. I don't have any of the spells yet. So this is kind of the only way I have of dealing with this guy. But he will eventually die. Yeah, there we go. And we get a whole bunch of money for it. Very nice. And we get our first grub. I might get all of the grubs but one this playthrough because, um... Well, some, some silly stuff happens if you get all of them. Uh, that I don't... I don't know how I feel about that. But... And this is the entrance to, what, the crystal area, right? Yeah. Very nice. There's a, an NPC we get to talk to, and very in, in the fashion of Dark Souls, an NPC with a tragic fate. Um, we'll talk to them now. Oh, as always, nice and cheery um, disposition that this game's got. This creepy ass poem. I, I love just the noises that the characters make. And look at her little nod, Myla. Very nice. I would love to take some of the crystals with me, but I can't. Um, we'll come back and get a, some very cool crystal stuff later on. Now, uh, this is just, just a soul thing. Nice. I gotta wait for the elevator again, though. Oh, I have to jump on it, huh? Yeah. It'll take me a little bit to get used to some of the systems. I'll probably putz around a little bit uh, to start, but... Oh, it feels good to be playing Hollow Knight again. There's something that we might need to be able to activate this, huh? No, we don't currently have it. So, off we go. I remember spending a while trying to figure out, like, what is it that I'm supposed to be able to do here? Just come check it out later, I guess. I should drink some water before my throat gets all dry. Mm. Love to see all those crows in the foreground, too. Those uh, effects that they do all look so good. There we see some more of them there. And it doesn't get in the way of playing the game, it just adds to the atmosphere, which is exactly what you want. This is one of those games that I just... I don't know. No notes. It, it's all good. I seem to remember spending a lot of time in this first area, kind of like trying to figure out where I wanted to go. I'm definitely not going to speed run through it this time. Can't go through here yet. So I think we have to keep going through the area first. Oh, nice. Lose some of the Geo to the spikes. Very sad, but like two Geo is not going to be a big deal. I love that <clears throat> they kind of experts in coming up with nonsense words too. These guys, because Geo is a very good one, and um, I think when you go visit Iselda in her shop, she goes like Bafanata, which is funny as well. Appreciate that. All the animations are so good, man. I'm just- this is just gonna be the stream of gushing about games that everybody else knows are already good. Like, but I don't care. I will- that will be what I do. There's probably a way to get up there and get that, um, grub. Uh, but I don't- like, speedrunner tech kind of wise way to do it. I don't know that I feel like trying. It's also cool to see um, when you kill even basic enemies that haven't been infected yet, they uh, kind of glow orange, which is a little bit of foreshadowing for what we'll see later on in this area, which is cute. 
just good design through and through. This room gets much more treacherous later on as well, but I'm already playing thoroughly well. Um, I guess I should plug it on stream, but um, I've I've been posting some uh, YouTube shorts of like clips of TF2 and stuff. Posted a clip from the Cuphead stream the other night um, to hope to drive some uh, viewership in. So if you want to check out uh, the, the very same username that I have on here, Annihilated1, uh, on, uh, I made an Instagram and a TikTok and a YouTube. So I'm just going to kind of be uploading that stuff there. Hopefully drive some viewership. I love this guy, Cornifer. He's a real good bug. Um, I love the music that the like Luigi's Mansion ass music that plays when uh, when you're around him, and um, or he he hums Luigi's Mansion music, which is just so cute. Uh, and you find the papers leading to him, and it's always so satisfying because you get the map. And of course, I have enough money for it because I've been uh, trying really hard. He says we want to get the compass from Iselda. Um, so now that we've found this guy, I think, uh, I think she will be, um, she will have opened the shop. Although I'm not sure if that's what triggers it. We might have to fight the boss first. I don't know. Um, but we can see Cornifer's little icon there, like right where my knight is now. And this is the boss that we want to fight, so. Um, yeah, we have to pass through down here to the right, I think. But we'll see what's on the left first, because I don't remember. I think this is a... Uh, yeah, this is something that we're not really meant to do yet, but... You can, so why not? It's always fun to do little tiny sequence breaks. Um, I'm not going to do, like, shade skip stuff or anything like that on this run, or probably ever. But, um... It's, it's fun to do little... Little baby speedrun stuff, I guess. Probably not even supposed to be in this room. Yay. The Gruz Mother is an interesting one here. We're gonna be seeing a lot more of her later on. Alright, that's not Gruz Mother. Gr the Gruzzes are the, uh... I don't know. They're a different bug. I, th I think Gruz Mother is like the boss that you fight. I think that's just something. And if we get the acid stuff we can swim in that water later on but it will hurt us for now Let's see if I can not get hit this time passing through this room very nice it doesn't feel like there's too much danger uh, for quite a while in this game and then you encounter some bosses that are real scary and you can get banged around by the platforming in this game too it is pretty keen to do that to you um, also I'm probably just going to pretend that I don't know how the bank works uh, when we get that far, because it's fun to see that interaction anyway. Um, plus, like, I mean, she does technically actually bank the Geo for you anyway, so... I don't know. Um, oh, I forgot that secret was there. I accidentally activated it. It's just more Geo, huh? Nice. Probably here to. I bet you there's exactly. If I was, if I was a betting man. I would bet that there are exactly 30 geo there, so that you can buy the uh, map from Cornifer uh, if you get here and you don't have the cash. These Aspid guys are not so bad, but um, their primal variant later in the game are real shitheads. I wonder if I should let myself get low so I can do like a bunch of extra damage with that charm that I got, but it's probably not super wise. I do really like how the Geo doesn't despawn for a really long time in this game as well. I think that's a nice, nice little thing that they did. I don't know why I went back through that. I had functionally no reason to. Uh, there is an exit to this room that we didn't go in over here before. I don't know where this takes us. Okay, so I think this is the path to, um, 
like the next area and you need uh, the ability that we get from uh, fighting some bosses to do this, so. I don't know how long I'm gonna stream this game for today, but I'll try to do a while. I wanna get through like the first couple areas maybe. Um, but yeah, hopefully the audio sounds better. I did a whole lot of stuff to it um, since last stream. Um, so I would, I would be disappointed if it still sounds bad. God, I love the sound effects and stuff in this room. It's just it's so good. And I think, is there anything through here? I might have to go back through the other room to continue passing through, but we found a bench. That's our sort of safe resting zone. Yeah, yeah, it's this way that we want to go to progress. don't nearly have the height to get up there just yet. Let's grab some more Geo from this guy. Some of these enemies get much scarier later on. One second, sorry. Yeah, I, I love this game. The, the just art style is so good. Um, yeah, that Geo is gone forever. I will, I will try to go down here and get this one. I love the enemy designs too. There are so many of them and they're so varied and cute and there's like... Like little variations on each of the enemies. There's like slightly different animations and drawings that they can get, I think, randomly. Which is just such a nice touch too. Um... One of my friends, I think, actually paid for the Kickstarter for this game, but I didn't know about it at that time. I, I, I was super late to the party. I actually got this game for free on PlayStation Pass. Or whatever, whatever it's called, the yearly PlayStation membership thing. Uh, every month. It was like one of the monthly games a couple years ago. And I downloaded it through that, so I didn't actually technically pay them at all for this game. So, the first time. So, I was like, you know what? It's 15 bucks. This is such an incredible game. It's worth it. Is there a way to get up there? Probably. I don't really feel like doing it though, I just kind of want to progress through the first area, that way we can get some abilities here. I think this is our first stag station, which is cool. I don't- we can get it back up to Dirtmouth from here. Um... Let's see... I guess I'll activate the stag, may as well. And then we'll, we'll go to try to fight the boss, I guess, because I think we're pretty close. Um, and then we can head back to Dirtmouth and stuff afterwards. How much do I need? 50 Geo. Easy. Just all feels so good. And I think one of my favorite animations in any game I've ever seen is there's one of those things that you have to pay Geo to and then a bench unfolds from it. And the bench unfolding animation is is just it's so crisp and just good. But we'll we'll bring our friend the stag in and we'll say hi. It's the last stag. This guy has a super sad story, as is just the case with so many of the characters here, but it's it's just so charming as well. So I think if I talk to him up here, yeah. And we can only travel some of the places yet, because we haven't found any of the other stations yet. But off we go. Let's... let's visit the boss. The jump is, like... Still not quite used to it yet. I think this is the path that I want to go, but I'm not entirely sure. I think there's a shortcut that I want to break uh, further up first, so let's let's do that. Oh, secret. I spy a little secret. I don't remember most of the secrets in this game. So each one that I find is going to be like a completely fresh new discovery. I really like the way that, like... A lot of the secrets are pretty accessible in this game, but some of them are super well hidden. I think that's a nice way to do it. This is the dark room, huh? Yeah, we need an item 
uh, to be able to see in here. I know you can navigate that room without it, but I certainly don't know how. I am not that much of a nerd to have memorized the layout of that room in the dark. Let's see. Big guy up here. I don't even think I have to fight you. Let me know as well. Just don't want to take a big smack again this time. I don't think we've actually had a death yet, so I need to be careful. This kind of guy is kind of just like precursor for the boss that we're going to see here in a little bit. Whoa, there was a really weird animation here. Just like right where my character is standing, right as the um that guy died. I don't know what that was, but I am definitely going to go back and post and look. What is this? I don't remember this at all. That was just more stuff. Oh, I bet you come here with, uh, there's another ability that we can pick up later on uh, that I bet you come here with. But I will not attempt to, I think you can probably, like, do that cheekily with the dash and by hitting the spikes over and over as well. But I'm not going to try it, that's for sure. It's pro I bet you that's like a mask piece or something. in this room. Is this the boss? Is this the boss that you can just skip? I think you can just skip this boss. Um, and I think I'll show it off, but I'm not actually going to do it because, um, you know, may as well fight it. The dog is here next to me making sleep noises. It would be pretty cute if that came through on stream, but after all of the effects that I've put on the audio, I would be very surprised if it did. What is this guy's name? I probably literally just said it on screen too. Ooh, nearly got hit by that. He gives you just enough time to, uh... I love how dumb this boss looks inside the armor. Did you expect such an intimidating foe? No, of course not. And you can hit these, uh, at the boss too. Yeah, here we go. So this, I'll show it off. You can break that and then just exit the boss fight. But I will not do that. We're just gonna fight him normally. This guy's really not hard. I think I died to him uh, the first time I played the game, though. No. Oh, bad time to go for a heal, but... Not punished for it. Too bad. So I think every time he does that like big, long wind-up, that means there's gonna be a, that wave on the ground. And then the, the quick one does not have the wave. Big, long wind-up, wave on the ground. Yeah, there we go. Oops. I don't think we get any soul from hitting the armor for this guy. Only for um, hitting the little ghost head. Yeah, see, now we're starting to get some soul as well. I should be able to get a heal in here. <laughs> that was weird, I didn't mean to spike that into the ground. And down he goes. And we get the opportunity to finish it off. Very nice. That's our first boss done. I think this is another cute detail. So, not only can you, um... Can you skip this boss, but there's a cute de detail after the fight as well. We get the city crest, which grants us access to some cool stuff later on. So even if you do skip the boss, you do have to fight him. So yeah, I, I wonder what'll happen if I just sit here. Who are you? Who are you? The weapon that he was fighting with is just a little guy. And off he goes. We'll be seeing you, buddy. Get just a ton of Geo, too, which is nice. I love how it kind of goes everywhere, so you don't pick it up all at once. They make you work for it a little bit. Makes it a little bit more satisfying. And then I think there's, yeah, there's more stuff up there that we can't do just yet. Which is fine. 
Very nice. Let's keep moving. That's boss one down. The next boss will be significantly harder, but not too bad. Uh, if I remember correctly. There's a couple encounters that we get before any bosses take place, but... Uh, I believe this is one of those such encounters. We are going to see a snail here. Let's, let's visit our friend the snail. I love how the bench in here looks different than the others. It's made of bones. And just... Listen to those footsteps. Oh, it, it sounds so good. I love it. Uh, maybe I will start actually reading the dialogue. I just... I got a little thrown uh, last time when I was playing Cuphead and I read the dialogue and I was just like peeking the mic over and over. Uh, I keep meaning to go and, and edit that part out so that I can uh, upload the VOD because it, I think it was a fun VOD, all things considered. I, I said some stuff that was wrong. I claimed to have uh, first tried one of the bosses and I did not. It was my second try. Um... And I, I think I, I did that with King Dice, too. I, I said, oh, first try, but it was actually try number two. I had, like, one very embarrassing try. There we go. It wants us to use the ability. We'll use it. So we get our, our first encounter with an enemy called, like, a Balder or something here, I think. Um, or, like, the Great Balder or something. I don't, I don't remember what it's called. But... Uh, I wouldn't really consider this a boss. It's kind of, you know, an encounter. I just, I love the, how, how detailed the uh, artwork and like all the little individual skulls. It's so much time and effort went into each of these that are placed and just the feel of all of this. It's very intentional. And I love that. Heal up here a little bit. Oh, shoot. Wow, okay. I'm doing great so far. I think I took like one hit to that boss and now... I'm just getting hit by random enemies like left and right. I don't remember there being like any secrets in this area, uh, so I'm not gonna be smacking every wall looking for them. Although, would I do that if I wasn't streaming? Probably, yeah. I'm like way too meticulous when I play games sometimes. Sometimes I need to just like move on. Nice. Was that all of those guys? I think so. Very nice. We get some lifeblood for the... Uh, enemy encounter that's supposed to sort of teach you how to use Vengeful Spirit here. So he's gonna huck some loogies at us, and sometimes the loogies are his children. Which gives us enough, um... Wow. I just, I cleared right through that. It gives us enough, uh... What was I saying? Soul to cast that spell some more. And we get, uh, an additional charm. Oh wow, I didn't I'm supposed to talk to him, but I didn't even <laughs> That's so funny that we got like alternate dialogue because I I was supposed to talk to him and I just like didn't I didn't see him. I just like went the other way. That's funny. All right, let us out. Thank you, buddy. And then the path to the next area here is guarded by some guys that some more of that that enemy that we just fought, I believe. I mean, I should probably put that on. Soul Catcher seems really good. Uh, I know the one that makes your spells deal more damage is, like, incredible. Uh, so I should probably seek that out, but I don't know where it is. Oh, and then we're back where Cornifer was. Very nice. Um, so let's... Where do I want to go from here? I think the path to Green Path is somewhere in the room above me. 
But I kind of want to go back to Dirtmouth first, considering I have all this money. So we'll pass back through this big sequence of rooms here to go to the stag station, I guess. Don't have to fight these enemies again, though. I love how they, like, reuse so many of the areas early in the game. Oh, that was dumb. You can take a lot of damage pretty quick in this game if you're not careful. Um, if you get knocked into spikes, you actually will get hit twice, which is a, a little scary. Um, but, you know. Just don't get knocked into spikes and you'll be fine. Says the man who will definitely get knocked into spikes again this stream. Okay. Let me see if I can actually remember the path through the area. I think I can just keep holding right through this room. That was dumb. Oh, that was also dumb. Okay. We'll carry on. Taking dumb damage, but... Luckily, in this game, there's not really too much punishment for that kind of thing. You can kind of just get away with it. Especially because there's another bench right here. I didn't even really need to waste the time healing. Okay. We will go back to Dirtmouth. Very nice. Got the elevator mechanism is so cool, too. This, this, everything feels good. And the little, fake little language that we got a sneak peek of there. I'll show it off again. Um, the language on this board behind me is just... It's so aesthetically pleasing. Patterns and stuff. It's kind of like what you, how you imagine bugs would actually write and stuff. They, did, they just nailed <sighs> the style. Bapanada. There, we get to hear her very loudly. I hope it wasn't as loud for you guys as it was for me. I don't know why that was that loud. I bet she has a, a bunch of stuff to sell. Yeah, I don't want to buy a lot of this from you. So, I'll get the quill. I'll get the compass. Uh, I'll get the bench pin. Let's see, what else is good here? Probably vendors, stagways. Sure, we'll, we'll start with vendors and stagways, and that's pretty much most of the money that we've got. And then I can come back and, and buy the rest of these. The last two are not that important. You can kind of just use them yourself, but I would like to get the cocoon and hot springs pin. Sadly, I am just four shy of getting uh, one of them to take with us here. I, I wonder, do I want to... Hmm. I wonder if I want to just go back down normally. Also, if you're sitting on a bench and you press the map button, or the character like opens a little piece of parchment, it's so cute. I love it. Let's put on... Uh, let's take this off, because I'm not going to be doing speedrun stuff, and I'll take put you and you on. I feel like that's a good start. That's kind of like the intended first thing. What's the button for the full map? I think I have to, yeah, access it here. Yeah, so I can just go down and then left, and that'll put us um, near the path to the next area, so let's just do that. It probably would have been faster to come back up through that room as well, but we took the scenic route. I guess. Um, and I think there's, there's a rarely spawning enemy called Menderbug that appears here. Uh, it's like super rare, which is funny. Again, just like the attention to detail and stuff like that that they add is just very cute. It's like super good attention to detail on top of a like character control system that's very fine-tuned. Oh sweet, we get to see the two grubs that we have rescued so far. Eventually all of these holes in the foreground and the background uh, have grubs in them if you free them all. So we're going to be working towards that over time as well. Oh yeah, there's this little guy too. Cute. I like where they placed the first few ones that uh, you find as well. There's like one here in the foreground, and then one over there, and one all the way on the left. Just so much good game design, man. So that was 
the first path. I think I want to take the next path left here. Yeah. You think this goes to green path? I do. And they, they even, like, <clears throat> the transitions between areas are super well done, too. It's like, this is the path to the green path, and we see a little bit of bush and stuff there. Bush and shrubbage that indicates to us. And we see another one of these guys, which is a perfect opportunity to utilize that spell that we got. <clears throat> Because if, if you try to go up and hit him, I guess I didn't show it up, but if you gotta tr try to go up and hit him, his shell blocks it, and you cannot. So that's why you cannot get past that guy until after you've, uh, defeated the first boss, or I guess, skipped out by breaking the wall. I love how this area looks, and there's a, another area even later in the game that's, like, expands on this idea and is just even prettier. And I love it. Those little bird guys are actually in the, like, bestiary. Eventually. Oh, the enemies in this area are so cute, too. Oops. Okay. We still have not died, so... I will attempt to... Uh, keep it that way. Then I think you explode into ooze. Yeah, you do. Okay. Oh, shoot. Forgot there was a variant of those that climbs on the wall, but I guess I should have remembered. Oh, those, the kerplunk sound is so crisp. It, it, it certainly evokes a certain feeling in me, I guess. Um, oh, the enemy sounds too. It's just everything about this game makes me happy. I don't know why I haven't played it for years. I know there's like all, all sorts of cool mods and stuff too that you can get for this game. Um, but I haven't I haven't explored any of that stuff, so maybe I will. This is like a randomizer, which is pretty funny. Um I wonder if it's a trap, guys. Oh look it was. Again, just like such a why does that character or that that enemy Rather, reminds me so much of Poison Ivy, like in a Batman cartoon. Like, I feel like that's totally, like, a denizen of Poison Ivy. Just, like, hiding there in plain sight amongst the shrubs. And again, we get to see the bugs that don't even appear to be infected do also have, um... A little cruel to, to use the spell there to kill some of those, but it, um, it does add... An entry in our, like, bestiary thing that's being tracked behind the scenes, I think. I think it's worth doing at least once. And we see our first bench in Green Path. And we get to see the knight actually... Uh, right on the map, but we don't have the map for this specific area yet. So we are looking for Cornifer again. In order to get that. That is one of the things that we want. I love, I love just saying it to Cornifer the Cartographer. It just sounds, sounds good. Feels good to say. I feel like part of the reason I've been like talking a big game, like, oh, I haven't died yet, is I'm, I'm also, like, I feel like I'm asking for silly stuff to happen. Did I come from this direction? I think I did. I remember getting lost in this area when I first played. Well, yeah, I, I killed those birds before. I got super lost in Green Path for some reason. I, I think I was just, like, late at night, and I was just wandering around aimlessly. It sounds like there's something there, but I don't think there is. Hello, Hornet. Goodbye, Hornet. There's a skip that you can use to get through that. But, ooh, not gonna attempt to do it. Weird, I wasn't expecting the enemy to bounce back to the right there. That was strange. The one way that I could see myself dying in this area is probably like getting hit multiple times and then like landing in the ooze. That could definitely get me. I guess I, I called that like ooze or slime that that guy gives off, but it's gas. So, as always, stealing jokes from other funnier people will will always be something that I endeavor to do. So, shout out to Germa there for that one. Come on. Fly at me. There we go. 
I guess I, I guess they do bounce off whatever surface they land on. So that's pretty cool. I know I can do that. But sometimes there's an enemy under there that you can crush, which is fun. I like the, the way they do that. Yeah, this guy. So if I wait for you to walk back over here... <laughs> if you look down to the knight, like, his head cranes as well. Come on. Just step forward. Thank you. We don't get any Geo for that, but... Uh, it's, it's funny. I think I probably could crush that guy too, but we have to do it from the other side. I don't think you can do that through the... no. That would be funny. You can hit some things like enemies through platforms, but if you could do that, that would be dumb. If you could cut those ropes like that. Oh, and I lose all that Geo too, it just becomes gone. There's nothing here? I bet you that's like a place we can come from later on. Oops. Oh, it put me even closer to corner for there, that's funny. Alright, buddy. Isn't this a contrast? Yeah, it is. I, I love that, too. I, I was talking about this earlier, but the areas all look so distinct from each other in such good ways. And we see we have, haven't actually covered much of this area yet. I particularly like the way the mushroom area and Fog Canyon look. Fog Canyon feels so muffled and stuff, which is exactly how I feel like it would be in, like, a super foggy area. Um... Oh, and yeah, here's the shortcut. There we go. And, and we'll just carry on. I, I find once I get the map for the area, I consult it way too much. So maybe now that I'm going to be, like, way hyper-conscious of that, because I'm doing it on stream, I'll be a little more careful. I bet you can crush yourself with this block and it just kills you. I bet there's a way to do it. I would be interested to see. Oh, and I think this guy is where we get our um, bestiary from. Looks all intimidating and scary. You're like, these are a lot of spikes, huh? But believe it or not, this is friend. Metsbura babis. Metsbura babis. <laughs> it's just, it's good. It's just, <laughs> I, no notes. I have no notes. Whoever wrote that and and delivered those lines, mm, perfect. Chef kiss. Chef's kiss. Wow, can't speak. I do approach Fearless, and yeah, we're gonna stalk and kill. That's kind of the whole point of this game, I guess, is be a bug, kill a bug, kill many bugs. Uh, yes, give me this. Nice. I don't know if I'm gonna bother to, um, like, fill this out on this account, because I have done it. I got all but, like, a few of the... Um, yeah, see, the mask fly does actually show up um, here because we killed one. And it shows the shade, but I don't think we've died yet, so that's a little weird. I, I got all but, like, the the last, like, two pantheons I didn't do in um, my PlayStation account. So I don't have all of the trophies, but I have a lot of them. And I, I think there's more achievements on PC than there are trophies on... PlayStation, which is a really weird choice. I don't know. Just walked right off. Right off. I guess I didn't expect there to be spikes down there, which was pretty foolish. God, the sounds are so satisfying. I'll take another grub. Later on, there are fake grubs that, um, seek to trick you. What is this? Oh, I don't know why that was, like, all dark there. That's weird. I think that was an area I'd already been in. What? Yes, very good time to check the map is when you have... And... and... <laughs> I just... I can't... Oh, man, I literally... I dodged the platforms like I... Like they... I owed them money. That was really funny. Just right into the acid. But... There's a thing with some soul here, so... We'll heal up a little bit. Which way do I want to go? I want to go to the left and down. That makes some sense. I suppose I... Okay, let's actually just not die. Should probably kill this enemy for some soul. Nice. That gives us just enough to heal one more time. 
Not just enough, I guess more than enough. Hello, Hornet. Oh, these guys are annoying. They're called like obbles or something. And later on there's like a bigger version that are called oblobbles. Okay. Those um sort of gas poofs that those guys give off when they die. Don't go around corners, which is funny. You can kind of dodge it like it's a smoke uh, grenade in like old CS. I guess in in new Counter Strike they uh, they change that, huh? So like that stuff does uh, like fill spaces like volumetrically, which is super cool. But I mean, it also did kind of seem like the only change that they made between CS:GO and CS2. But I mean, if I were a Counter Strike fan, I would not be complaining because I mean, I. I'm a big TF2 guy, and that game just gets no love, ever. And I mean, a uh, Halloween update that like barely functions, full of community created content, doesn't really count in my book. Um, need the dash to go up in this room, I think. Those enemies are funny, it's kind of um, like a game of chicken, and it's very easy to lose that game of chicken the first time you fight them, and then after that you're like, oh, that guy's actually not threatening at all. Just hit it. It is definitely worth using the spell on them, though, because they take a few hits to die. Probably should have, especially considering how much um, soul I have. Where does this go? I don't know. It's just a side path. Let's do it. Oh, those brambles scare me. I have taken a fair few hits of damage to those brambles in my day. I'll tell you what. Oh yeah, this is this is a room bordering on Fog Canyon, huh? Maybe I don't want to come through here. I think this is tough platforming land. Yeah, I might need... I definitely need at least the dash to do this, I think, so we'll, we'll carry on. Luckily, the dash we do get from this area, so... We should have enough to get pretty much all of the map upgrades from Isilda if we go back there. This might be a shortcut to that bench, actually, which I would be pretty happy if that were the case. Oops. Didn't see- I heard him spawning in, but I didn't realize it was right underneath me. There are particles that show when they spawn in, so I guess that was my own fault. I can make it up there, right? I guess I have to turn from here. Bit odd. I thought I had the height. Okay, we'll just... Oops. Okay, take care of all of those guys. Grab the Geo. I think, uh, yeah, I saw on Reddit some people were kind of hoping that they were gonna announce, uh, like, a trailer or something for Silk Song at the, like, Nintendo Indie World thing. And those people are sadly quite misguided because, um, those of us who know, know that knowledge will never come for Silk Song. Um, which is, yeah, the uh, sequel to this game that was announced many years ago, and we still have basically just trailers. Um, I mean, hopefully we get a full announcement soon. I don't know. It's 2023. I, I would have thought that it would be out by now. I don't know where the hell I am. All I know is that I am moving further from the bench that I wanted to go to, so that kind of sucks. I don't think I've been through this area before. I walked right into where he was going, that was funny. Whoopsie. Have I been here before? Yeah, okay. Wait, so... Uh, I came in from over there? Oh, that's really annoying. That I have to go and redo that. I guess if I sit at the bench, uh, right up here, that gives us... Um, 
mapping for the room that we went through, so that's good. Let's look. Okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So, I think I was actually quite close to where I wanted to go. That's probably honestly what they want you to do. Um, is explore that room and then have to do a little backtracking, which is fine. We'll do a little backtracking. Oops. God, I'm just walking in acid left, right, and center today. Should actually be looking where I'm going, probably. I think this is the way? Yeah, this is the way. Just super over-relying on the map, but it's because my sense of direction in real life is really bad. I, I have a better sense of direction in video games than I do in real life. Um, and in video games it's bad too. Like I, I'm really glad that I'm not streaming like some of my first playthroughs of some of these games that I've been streaming because I'm shockingly bad at like figuring out where I need to go. I'll just I'll wander the same area like so many times. Yeah, so I think I actually was safe there no matter what. We get to utilize that uh, shortcut that we found before. Go down and to the left here. I forgot you can redirect to where those guys are going. Uh, if you shoot them in a direction when they're flying, that's really funny. Or hit them in a direction. So this time we want to just keep going left instead of going up. I think that will result in us finding what we're looking for. Which is the hornet fight. Uh, she pokes her face out a bunch of times as we go through this area. As I guess just very blatant foreshadowing. I thought I landed on the platform there, but no. Getting hit a lot. Getting hit a whole lot. Where'd that guy go? Oh, back under the bushes? Oh, bad time to heal. I didn't even have time to stop in time, and I lose the all the soul that I had. This is definitely a potential death situation, so I'll just be careful to not die and heal up here. Very nice. Just one more hit. Where are you? Oh no. I will I, I will be back at one health or back at one health. I will be back at full health eventually. I will. So this is the way that I went up, huh? Yeah, let's let's just not this time. I think this is Can't get that yet either. I either need the acid swim or something. I bet you if you go the direction that Hornet is going each time uh, that you will actually find your way through the area. That would make a lot of sense. But I, I guess I will slow clear this room and try to get as much Geo and stuff out of it as I can. Because after we uh, fight Hornet here, I think we do encounter the bank for the first time, which I want to utilize. It's fun. I'm just gonna keep driving uh, viewership here through those YouTube shorts. Hopefully, we have some funny stuff happen today that I can utilize, but I've got more clips lined up as well. I wanna. I had a really funny clip as. Or maybe not funny clip, but I had a very. Um, like, clutch play as medic uh, toward the end of the powerhouse round in TF2. Uh, a couple days ago, so I want to upload a short of that as well. So that's in the works, but I haven't actually uh, gone and clipped it yet. It's a lot to do to manage all these accounts and try to drive people in here, because if I could just spend like most of my energy streaming games, I would, but the thing is, like, without anyone in here, there's no point, so... I don't know.
I'll get the traffic eventually, though. I just gotta bring it on in here. Oh, man. A little tired, I was awoken to the sound of my dog doing some stuff outside my door this morning, which is not uncommon, I would say. But I don't mind. We love him. He's a good little guy. I was talking about my dog uh, last night on stream as well. He's getting old, though. Little man is like 14, which is crazy to think about, because I remember when we got him, I, I, was, I was very young. Guess that makes sense. I remember thinking this was going to be an NPC the first time I fought him. Oops. So I know these guys do swing up sometimes. Oh, you have projectiles. I forgot. Alright, buddy. They're definitely a little easier to defeat later once we get our nail upgrades going. There you are. I always hear them before I see them, those enemies. They're kind of inconsequential most of the time, though. It's funny to see that the game is running at, like, 400 frames. I... I don't know. I guess, um... If anybody comments that it's annoying that there's the, um... FPS meter on screen? I can take it off, but for now I just made it like less, um, less visible for the meantime. I don't really know where this is taking me. I guess I'll just try it. We'll see. This feels like back in the starting area. Especially because of the enemies that we see here. Is this Zote? This is a. Uh, I kind of want to just let him die. It makes like the Pantheon easier, right? Let me let me look. Where's my mouse cursor? Okay. Yeah, I don't want to deal with this boss, this playthrough. Screw out. I'm just gonna let you die, you little asshole. That guy's, like, super arrogant and just tells you how awesome he is. And then, like, you get a chance to actually fight him in real life. And, um, he sucks. Like, he's super shitty and very easy to kill. Um, but he does have a very big fan. Uh, and in his fan's dream, he is incredibly strong, and you get a chance to fight, like, the version of him that his fan thinks that he is. Um, and it gets, like, stronger and stronger each time you fight it, up to, like, 15 times or something. And it's downright oppressive by the end, and I, like, really don't like his moveset. So I am not... The green children walk from the dream onto these lands. Here we will now... Here we now shall wait patient for them to... Call to return. For the call to return. Wow, I can't read. I'm, I don't know, I guess I'm glad there's no one in here today. I'm kind of low energy streamer today. We get to fight another one of these guys. I thought you always did too. I bet you I can reflect those projectiles he does at back at him. But I will take the opportunity to heal up. I don't want to die to this loser. No, they just break. That's kind of lame. Oh, shit. You got me. All right, dealt with. That's another grub in the container. Uh, if you keep saving grubs, um... That is also a pretty decent way to bank some money up in this game as well, because you can just not um, visit Grubfather, and then you don't really have to worry about, um, or you won't get the money, so it's kind of like a bank. Ah, I don't want to die to this guy. Come on, man. 
I don't want my first death to be one of these green path scrubs. Whatever it is, now that we're this far in the game, whatever kills me the first time is going to be something silly. I'm going to, like, die to spikes or something of that fashion. I am certain. I already came this way. What am I doing? funny my mom just got home so I got a little quiet but the uh the dog usually would would choose to hang out with her over me but he um he is fast asleep it's kind of nice to have him in here just passively making noise as uh as I play the game get a cheeky heal off here and another? Okay. Come on. I don't want you to wake up your friend, though. Come on. Get over here. Come on, man. Okay, that's one of them down. Isn't there another? Oh, I, d I did wake up both of them. I guess I killed the one without realizing it. That's fine. We collect the Geo. Those guys are tough. I definitely think I died to them uh, on my first run through here. <laughs> and Ian woke up and he, he has no clue my mom is home. He's just in his own little world. Oh, did I do this part already? I think so. I'm, I'm getting a little distracted, a little confused. So pardon me if it's slightly chaotic today. Have some kind of crazy life change stuff going on. I think we will go and open up the stag station before we fight the boss. I think that's a pretty good idea. Where does this take us? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll just go get that stag station. Oh, did I really just screw myself? So I can't get back through that area. That's annoying. Let's see if I can unscrew that up. The greater mind once dreamed of leaf and cast these caverns so in every bush and every vine the mind of Un reveals itself to us. Uh, Un is like one of the one of the big godlike characters in this game. I don't mean godlike in like a gaming sense. I mean godlike in quite literally is a bug god of some kind. There are uh, several figures. Uh, our, our protagonist character's mom and dad are two of them as well. Um, which is pretty funny. We're kind of royalty, sort of. Royalty sort of cast out of the kingdom, as we'll find out later, but... I don't know, there's a guy, Mossbag, who does um, all kinds of... Uh, the YouTuber Mossbag who does lore on Hollow Knight and stuff, and it, its videos are pretty good. This feels awfully familiar. This must be a room I've been through before. No wonder I got lost and wandered around in Green Path for a while. First time I played this game. Yeah, I don't want to come through this area again. I guess I'm doing it. I think I took a wrong turn somewhere. Yeah, I, I got stuck. Oh, another chance to save Zoe. Definitely not. Definitely, definitely not. You can and make noises all you want. I'm not going to save you. <laughs> okay, this time I will actually do the thing I was I said I was going to do, which is um, open the stag station. Because uh, right over here is the path to the boss, and then down here is the stag station. So let's not screw ourselves up. We'll open the stag station. I believe Fog Canyon is below us here, if I remember correctly. Let's take a look at the map. 
yeah, I think Fog Canyon you can get into from here. Uh, but that is not what I am looking to do right now. We'll just activate the stag and be on our way. Helps to not have s quite so much money going into the Hornet fight, but if we die, I'm pretty sure the Shade spawns outside the boss fight anyway, so you're not, like, screwed. Oh, and now, now the dog wakes up and wants to be let out. Okay, I'll be right back. That's mighty embarrassing. Look who forgot to activate the loop thing for my BRB screen. Oopsie. You get to see the just insane stuff that I got. I get recommended, rather. Let's get that off the screen. Uh, <laughs> and let's get the game back up. That was a decently silly mistake. Let's just fight Hornet. Let's just do it. Right through this room should be Hornet. Let's pair a visit. I, I guess Hornet is technically our sister. I don't know what that means. I've seen you creeping through the undergrowth. A terrible thing awakens, huh? So, plot-wise, I think Hornet kind of understands our role in the story more than we do. We're just here. Our character has no idea what's going on, frankly. He's just alone for the ride. We got the double hit on Hornet there, which is pretty cool. Uh, we don't want Hornet to get a double hit on us, though. That was a weird little jump maneuver you did there. Nice. Try to... Ooh, I was going to say jump over that and just get another spell off here. Nice. An opportunity to heal up and then hit the boss some more. Oh, that was just a, a miss. Just a bad shot in general. Yeah, so it is possible to jump over that twice. Okay, and we get one more opportunity to heal and then I imagine the fight will be over soon. Yeah. Test of resolve. Can we do it? Ending the fight with full health as well and we pick up. The Mothwing Cloak, very nice. Right trigger, huh? Nice. Whoa, I forgot this happens too. I believe this is a brainwave from our friend the Moth. Nice. Kind of a little bit of exposition there. Do we actually wake up? Okay, I was gonna say, I don't know if this is the like, dream nail moment. I, I didn't think it is. It's it's not, though. Yeah, the dream nail is, um, oops. Right, obviously you have to dash over that. Dream nail is one of my favorite uh, things that they added in this game. It's just so cool. The way that you can, like, talk to... Well, not talk to, but you can, you can hear what ghosts have to say and stuff. Me and the acid are having a really good time together. <laughs> Tonight. I need to remember that I actually did unlock the dash. I don't know how many streams it will take me to complete Hollow Knight, but it's certainly going to be more than uh, the one that I did for Cuphead. Uh, I'm going to play some more streams of Cuphead, though, so I have that in the works as well. Oh, 
Was that just this? Is that not the way I meant to go? Was there another path in here that I missed? Oops. Maybe you are supposed to go here? I don't know. No, I think it is to the left that we want to be going. I guess I should be taking the time to actually enjoy these really nice looking rooms instead of just dashing through them, but we've got the dash, so I may as well train my brain that I've got it. This is the Lake of Un. I remember definitely thinking that this guy was some kind of NPC, but no, he'll just fight us. So I don't feel the need on low health. We get to see our friend Quirrell again, our second interaction with him. Manamato Churo Namun. It is so calming. He does have a point. Nice to find another bench. We'll take this time to inspect the map and see where we are. I think I can make it through that brambly room below the stag station here. And there's a couple other things that I can now do now that I have the dash. But I would like to cash in some of the geo that I've got on... Um, some of those things from Dirtmouth, so we'll try to make our way over to the stag station again and head back to Dirtmouth, and then uh, I don't know how much more I want to do here. Oops. Actually do need to get a pretty good jump and dash to get through that. Um, I don't think I'm going to have time for like a three hour stream today. I think it'll probably be closer to two. Which is fine. Oh. I can totally play this game another day. That was weird. I don't know if I've ever knocked that guy off the platform that he lives on. That was a strange one. Uh, right, I wanted to go to the stack station. That's down, not up. Down we go. This is just such a finely crafted game. I love it. Spilled my water all over myself and my desk. Nice. Very well done. And dropped some stuff on the floor. It's going great today. Okay. Let's just take us back to Dirtmouth. It definitely seems like all those um, things that I did to the uh, audio are helping to some degree. I'll, I'll go and A-B the, this stream and last night's stream, uh, just for comparison as well. And ho hopefully I'll see direct improvement, but who can say? <sighs> Bafanada. Bafanada indeed. Let's just buy it all, huh? Give. Give all of it to me. Thank you. That was like halfway between Russian and Shrek. I don't know what accent that was. But it was weird for sure. Oh, I guess we just. I wasn't paying any attention, but it was adding new stuff. It added two other kinds of marker. So we actually did completely clean around, huh? <sighs> Bafanada. Yeah. She tells us so as well. But you're rich now, Cornifer. <sighs> Mobadis. Mobadis, huh? I forgot you you can get like additional dialogue if you um uh, approach some of the NPCs from another side. It's a dreary little sad town, huh? Other than me who's buying? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I know that Sly is the shop owner of a neighboring shop. I think he, he either lives in this room or Oh, and we see Tiso for the first time as well. Sarema. I love his voice. He's very nasally. Serema. I think that that voice line that just sticks in my head is probably from Sly. I think he's telling us about, yeah, an arena. I think that would be the, um, what do you call it? I don't remember what it's called. There's, there's like a, a combat 
arena area where where you do several trials. Um, I think that's what he's talking about. Um, it's funny uh, with the context of what actually happens to him in the combat arena. It's quite funny to uh, see him invite us. Caseto Gueno. Caseto Gueno. Oh, Caseto Gueno, huh? I agree. I absolutely agree. Yeah, so Sly will either open up in that little shop over there. I think this house belongs to a different resident. And then we get to see some more cool stuff show up over here uh, for the DLC later, too, which is fun. I'm, I'm excited for all of that. What do I want to do next, though? Um, I think there are now paths in the Forgotten Crossroads that I can pass through that I couldn't before. And there's some stuff to do in Green Path. I don't know. I guess uh, I'll just keep making direct game progress. I don't think I want to, like, fight any more bosses today. So yeah, we go to Forgotten Crossroads, and then I know there's a path to the next main area. It's through here. Damn, my, my throat is getting so dry, I just keep having to pause to drink water, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute myself again, sorry. Feel that bad muting my game with like such beautiful audio, and we see Tiso again. We'll hang out next to him. I like how Tiso's all the way on one side of the bench, and our character just sits right in the smack in the middle, like shamelessly. I agree, dude. This guy just talks shit the whole time. Like that's literally his his entire purpose is to talk shit and then get hit in such a funny way. Yeah, you want the arena, huh? Yeah, all right. Well, you'll get the arena. You'll, you'll get what's coming to you, buddy. Where am I going? Ask myself this question. Down and left, I think. Although, I think this room has several paths that I didn't fully explore. Oops, that was not the button I meant to press. I think that's actually... Right trigger is like the quick spell button, and I want to use that, um... Is this the path that I want to go? Oh, this is just locked. Yeah, yeah, so I'll unlock this later. That's fine. Uh, I don't know if you saw that, but when, when you break the... Oh, yeah, we'll get to see it again. See, there's a, a little... Little glow... Like, luminescent insect in there of some kind, and... You can set it free if you want. Which is quite cool. Even though it was kind of jank, the animation of it, like, flying back into the background there was a little wonky. I appreciate slight jank sometimes. Okay, so we can't go through there. I don't remember if this is a path that I want to be going. It's certainly a path. Is this the dark area? I don't remember. What is this? Huh. I don't know, the next time we sit at a bench though, it'll certainly uh, reveal this area to us. Oh, I know, this is the tram. We, we definitely can't use yet, but... Uh, still worth coming here. I think there's, there's a couple encounters, a couple fun encounters that we can do here. I guess I did kind of rush through the crossroads. Um, so there's some more stuff to do here. I may as well do some of that while I'm here. There's so much of that kind of thing in this game where you're like... Oh man, I didn't really fully explore this area, I guess I'll just keep exploring, and it gives you such a good sense of being in the world, because there's always something more to do. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll go to this way to the tram. We don't have the ticket, but I think... Isn't there something here? I thought there was like an NPC or a, a fight or something here. Am I just completely mistaken? Perhaps it's elsewhere. There certainly is other stuff to do here though, I know it. Very nice. 
Nice. Where the hell am I? Oh, I forgot the guys with the shields are this early in the game. Nice. I probably want to be using the spell a little bit more. It is really good. Like here, you have one of those. Okay, so I just didn't go that way when I came through here before. That's fine. I think the direction I actually want to be headed is down and to the left, so that is what I will do when I'm done taking all of the damage in the world. Let's see. I don't know, I, I wonder if I should uh, think about setting up a face cam as well. I think that would make me so self-conscious though. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't worry about it nearly as much, but I don't know. I certainly don't like the idea. I know some people can kind of get away without it, but almost all of the super successful people on Twitch do have face cam going on. And I'm not saying I have a face for radio, but um, also don't know if I have a face for Twitch streaming either. Like that, like face cam Twitch streaming stuff. Okay, so we get one additional geo bank that we couldn't get before, but you, you know, if I felt like being more patient, I'm sure I could have done it without getting hit that many times. Alrighty. I think it's it's through this this area is where I want to be. Don't know though. Yeah, so I gotta pass through this whole segment, and then I can go down uh, to the next area. Which is the Fungal Wastes, which is an another just really well-named zone. I actually... Fun fact is... Oh yeah, so this is... That's the thing that we needed the uh, dash for before that we can now do. And it gives us access to the fungal wastes. Yeah, here we are. Oops, didn't really need to fall down there. I think there's more stuff to do on the right. I don't really remember where Cornifer is in this area, so... Ah, another floor that we can uh, dive through, but we don't have the dive yet, so... I love the enemies in this area. I just... I love everything about this area. Fungus... There are many fungus in this area. And it just, it sounds like wet. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we just knocked that guy off the platform. Uh, there are a couple cool bosses nearby, I think. Uh, the Mantis Lords is certainly one of note, but that boss is hard. Yeah, the, uh, if you use right bumper, it definitely activates the spell a little faster than if you were to use the A button. Which is a weird feature, I will say. Because they don't really advertise it at all, that that's the case. Uh, I know there's a way to do that without the acid swim, but... We're not, we're not doing too many speedrun skips today. Right. Have the map. This guy's fun. You can smell me, hun. <clears throat> it almost sounds like the vocals that they're using for this is somebody talking into like a tin can. It's pretty funny. I'll see something nice. Why not? 86 is a weird quantity of geo for him to take, though. I can't afford any of it, but I really would like the greed, because that gives you uh, a good way to get more geo uh, moving forward, and then fragile strength is of course very good, and you can make those uh, permanent charms too. It takes a whole lot of geo to do it though. Let's see, I don't know which map area that's going to show me that I didn't have before. Ah, I see, just some stuff over there. There's actually a 
bench that I didn't see. Oh, under the it's under the tram place and to the right. Okay, well, I just completely missed that. That's fine. I can go and do that later. We're in the fungal wastes now. I will continue moving through this area in the meantime. I would like to see Cornifer, and maybe we'll get to the city and then call it. Whoops, that was a fun way to take two damage for no reason. Right after we leave the bench. Gotta be careful of the acid here. What is this direction? I don't know. I don't have the map. Do I want to fight mushrooms? These guys are kind of a piece of work. Yeah, I was gonna say, if I can just kill one of them though, I'm not as worried anymore. Okay, now I definitely need to heal. But you don't want to be sat doing it when... Ugh, comes time for him to shoot more goo. Nice. Mushrooms defeated. What's our reward? It's like a charm notch or something? Nice, it's charm notch! Very cool. It's our first one of those that we get to see. I honestly, I thought there was one in, in the first area, but I guess not. Whatever this switch is, I want to hit. Nice. More access through the area. Still don't have the map. I feel like the map is down from here, if my memory serves me right, but I honestly don't know. Didn't mean to fall. Wow! Very good. Very good vocals on that too. It's so funny. I love the the sort of variance in the move sets of the enemies too. It's not sort of just their names and de visual designs, but they have very different moves as well. I hear pitter pattering of mushroom feet. I don't know where I am. I see another switch. Oh, it's this room. This room sucks. Okay. Those explosive enemies are... Well, I think it does two damage when you get hit by them, so... Oh, wow. I also forgot there was ooze there. Okay. What is this? Why does this feel like something? Huh. I have no idea. We'll look for the stag. I was just talking how good the enemy variance, variance is, and then we see immediately an enemy that's quite similar to an enemy we've seen before. Yikes, yeah, that does a lot of damage. I think we can heal to full, though. Just barely here. You guys suck. Oh no! I missed. Final jump. I think I do need to dash over here. And all it is is a thing I can sell for money. That's kind of lame, but worth nabbing, I guess. Okay, I. Getting hit by that guy that many times is just shameful. I don't know what I'm doing. I think Cornifer is this way, though. We see some paper, which is always a, a, a good guess that Cornifer's around. Oh, and we get to see Quirrell again. This is like a, what, our third encounter. This is another stag station, huh? What is up here? This is more Fog Canyon, and we can visit actually the bank. So we'll, we'll do that real quick before we... I love how you can just see right through to the other side. That's very oh, funny. Millibel seems so innocent, huh? Well, sure. Well, I'll give you some money to open an account, and then we'll store our other 188 Geo with you. Geo. 
or her vault. That's funny. I guess 150 is as much as I can do. That's totally fine. And you hang on to that. Why don't you? Don't worry, guys. She definitely won't do anything nefarious. That could never happen. Yeah, Fog Canyon is a scary place, though, because there's those jellyfish that do double heart damage. That scares me. I don't remember one of these paths actually puts you in the stag station. Oh, I just put all that money away and now I'm going to need all of it back. That's funny. All right, well, maybe that was unwise. Let's go take the money back from Millville, but I, there's also something over here. Very tasty fungus, huh? I think you can actually go up there, too, once you get um, other abilities. Yeah, this is a pretty big room. I guess it was uh, fairly populated back when the bug... All the bug stuff was going on. The big bug. The big bug stuff. But it's very deserted now. Um, there's... Yep, don't have the wall jump, or Mantis Claw is, I think, the official name for it in the game. So I can't do that yet. But that's a Mask Shard, which is nice. Very, very nice. Let's go get that money back. Buy the Stag Station, and then I will head... Try to find Mr. Cornifer. Destio! Geo! I guess I could have just come down through Fog Canyon instead of going up to Dirtmouth and then... Or, or going through the crossroads and then the fog... Or the, the mushroom zone, but I kind of like that path more than the Fog Canyon path, personally. I don't know. There's no real reason to. I think I was like 2G or shy of keeping 50 in the bank too, which is funny. Oh no, I could have. I don't know, I'm just... I don't know what I'm saying. It's fine. Where do I want to go? Don't have a map for this area. That's where I want to go. Cornifer. I, I don't know why I'm just like goldfish braining recently, but... I have not been remembering anything. There's complete brain rot. Probably too much internet. <laughs> <laughs> would be my guess. Too much internet use. Just rotting my brain out from the inside. Right, you, you big balloon. Cornifer must be down, yeah. I remember this now. You can't tell me that's not Luigi's Mansion music. Dun 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 I, I love how it's not perfect too, it's like kinda screwy. Which is just awesome. Yeah, very territorial types. I guess he's talking about the mantises, huh? Further below, some strange thin creatures gave me quite a scare. Ah, uh, that must be the spidery folks? Yeah. Oh, I'm too geo shy. Be serious. All our food is made of geo. I guess, in a way, it is. That's true in real life, too. Okay, you, sir, will give me the two geo that I need for the map. Literally, that's it. Exactly the two geo. It's gonna be pretty perfect. I guess I, I'm not quite far enough in the game to actually make good use out of the banker. Am I? It's fine. Come on, Corny. Give me that map. Perfect money amount. Yeah, and we could go down from here, and that would be the path to the uh, Mantis zone. And, you know, maybe I will do that. Uh, the wall jump is really good. That's where we get that, so... Let's just cruise on down. Uh, 
I don't think I... Yeah, I need to activate that, so I can't go through there yet. Oh, and I don't have the wall jump, so I, I just I can't go this way at all. That's fine. Gives us, like, one path, which is pretty solid. Nice, cute little, um... Activity for you to do, too. Which is a nice thing that they do in this game as well. Whenever there's like, just like little stuff to do to keep you busy, makes my brain happy. Because in any game that doesn't require a, like additional stimulation at the same time, there are some things that I feel like. What the hell is this? This is Hollow Knight. This is perhaps the best indie game made of all time. It's incredibly charming. I am playing as a little bug. Yeah. I have no clue what I was talking about before, but that's fine. It's not like the words I say actually matter most of the time. Oh shit, I forgot that guy just blows up. Okay, well, you... You keep doing that, buddy. I... I'm looking for a way out. Hmm. Maybe through that path directly below I could have gone to the right, but I don't know. I'll go this way instead. Yeah, let's not look at the map in the explosive room, shall we? Just just looking at it. I don't know why I felt the need to look at it again. God, I love the mushroom zone. I love the, mu I, the mushrooms and it's just good. Uh, I, I said this earlier, but I've got a few more viewers now, so I may as well say it again. Um, I made some pretty serious changes to the audio. I added, uh, like, a compressor and a limiter and, uh, three-band EQ and a whole bunch of stuff, so the audio quality should be so much better, and I shouldn't be peaking the microphone anymore, which is good, because when I played Cuphead, I peaked the microphone, like, every five seconds. I tried to go back and watch the VOD, and I, I was, like, puking listening to the audio. Um, so... That should be sorted now, hopefully, um, with any luck, that we will have gremlin-less audio, but that is maybe too much to wish for. I don't know why I massacred the mushroom guys down there, but I sure did, huh? Where, where am I going? Oh, this room is a dead end, that makes sense. Okay, and I don't have the wall jump to carry on through, so... I want to go this way. Damn it, mushroom man. I'll let this guy live, I guess. Was this the room that I was just in? It is. Wow. I remember I was talking about how bad my uh, navigation is in-game not too long ago. I literally just went through the same room twice without realizing it. Whoops E. Well, let's see if I can actually go the direction that I wanted to here. And we can uh, do the last couple uh, things that I wanted to do, and then we can wrap up the stream here. And I will be playing Hollow Knight uh, for probably the next couple streams as well. But this run is still deathless, so that's cool. Yeah, let's let's take the path to the city. Oh, use the city crest. I keep getting hit by those mushrooms. They either jump over you. Oh, uh, you got a phone. no co no worries. Got a phone call. Shit happens. Uh, this is a game about bugs, um, with very, very good character design. I forgot I had a dash there for a second. Um, and beautiful sound effects and everything, this is just... This game is fun. I would very much recommend it, it's called Hollow Knight, and it's 15 bucks, and honestly, like, for the gameplay to money spent ratio, I don't know if you can do much better than 15 bucks. Nice. Use that guy's own explosive to deal with him, that's pretty fun. Uh, 
yeah, but we're only in like the second or third area in this game. Um, haven't done too much. Um, so there's a lot more to see. Um, and I guess this game is, you could describe it as like a Metroidvania. I think people like to say that. It's uh, got all manner of uh, abilities and stuff that you can get and then return to areas you were in before uh, and access stuff that you couldn't access previously, which is cool. Ah, uh, this is Elder Who or something, a boss that we can fight later once we get the Dream Nail. Yeah, but... Oh, that was dumb. Okay, I don't want to have my first death be to stupid shit like that. I still have not died. Is that gonna change now? Oh no, this is friend. Hi, friend. I think I ran away from this character the first time I played this game, but... Um... It's... It's just friend that seems scary. Which it, which is a common thing in this game. There's a character that seems very scary, but it's just a friend. Nice. Just looking for a tribe, huh? I'm looking for a bench. That's what I'm looking for. Man seeking bench. That would be a funny, like, Hollow Knight meme. Like, Hol the Hollow Knight in his 50s types man, man seeking bench. <laughs> oh, shit. Very nearly just died. Hello, Hornet. I guess we'll follow Hornet. Oh, I need the Mantis Claw to do this. Right. Okay. So I need a wall jump to be able to do this. is a soul repository up there that I can try to use, but I have to kill this enemy first. And we can at least heal up one health here. And you explode again. Yeah, you do. Nice. And get some soul from this, and we can heal right on back up, and it's not so scary anymore. Not too bad. So to get the Mantis Claw... We have to venture into the, I guess, the, the Mantis territory, and there's one hell of a boss fight down there, I'll tell you what. We get to fight the Mantis Lords, which is cool, and then there's, there's another boss fight relating to them later that's actually much harder, too. I think we can get our first, like, uh, power upgrades after we go into the city, so that'll be very fun as well. Where am I? Okay, so this was uh, the room that we couldn't enter before because we didn't have the shortcut. That's correct. Okay, so we've opened a shortcut. That's nice. So I just need to dash over here. Very nice. And these little mantis switches appear all over this area and kind of restrict your movement. But if you open them one by one, you'll get more shortcuts. Shortcuts are good. Fun, cool game design. Alright. I know there's something up here. What is it? Just a zone with more of these mushroom dudes. Okay. I thought there was like a pickup up here. Oh, there probably is. Ah, it's a grub. We will free another grub. Very nice. On to the next zone. Yeah, and we see the heads of other bugs on pikes here that the mantises have um, left behind for us to see. 
And they're quite tough enemies. Even just the basic enemies in this area are... Well, they don't mess around, I'll tell you that. Damn, that hitbox is really big. I think they do an upward attack as well. So you don't want to get hit by that, but pogoing over the enemies is a pretty effective strat most of the time. Yeah, I seem to remember these guys from the Colosseum as well. That's that's what the, the combat zone is called. I, I couldn't remember earlier. It's the Colosseum. Oh shit. These guys are problematic here. Alright, very nice. We get to collect that little bit of Geo that we left behind. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. I was trying to think if I had any other funny stories that I wanted to tell on stream. <laughs> yeah, that's a spooky message to see in the area that you're going into. These guys definitely want to kill us. One cool thing is, though, you can uh, earn your respect, earn their respect, rather, the mantises. If, if we uh, defeat them in ritual combat, we will earn their respect. So... Did I hit two of you? Or just one of you? No, I just hit one of you, that's fine. These guys are really hard, so it's worth giving them a spell or two. God, and your hitbox is so tall, too. Like, I try to jump over it and I get hit on its head. The flying ones are not nearly as hard. They only take a few hits, so that's not too bad. Oh. Shit. Definitely not the way I wanted that to go, and then I did not mean to use that all that soul. There. I think there's a secret here where you can... There's a spot where, you, um, there's a path that's blocked that you can sneak in there before they turn the, uh, flip the switch. I think actually here's the lady who, um, becomes Zote's fan, if we were to save Zote. And I don't remember how to get to her, but there's a, there's a way around here somewhere. I think there's like a, where is it? There's a wall that you can just break and we can go and visit her. This is also a path into... Yeah, the, the, like, sewers area, I think. Oh, cool. And there is, uh, a charm here that we can pick up as well. Oh, is this how we save her? Oh, man. Probably want to dash when that guy does that attack to avoid it. Oh, I bet you just need, um, Mantis Claw to go up the wall here. we go on to the next zone yet. Yeah, I don't think we can go... I, that's probably a one-sided um, shortcut as well to get into the sewer, so this this is a dead end here. But we get to see a uh, new mapped area, and I think uh, halfway up this room is the path that I want to take. And we didn't get this Geo before, so I may as well. Nice. Very good. I've been having fun playing this game tonight. I'll tell you what, I don't know if it's been the best stream content, but... In these early streams where I don't have too many viewers, I, don't, I really don't think it matters what game I'm playing, to be honest. I mean, if I was playing Among Us, would I have more viewers? Maybe, but... I don't know if I want to do that is not authentically the stuff that I like, so. Oh, shoot. Just barely managed to get myself hit there. Need to be pretty careful with my movement in some of these rooms. Where have you gone there? Have you gone? Okay. Yeah, I'm running a little bit out of uh, energy to do this as well, so I will probably... One of you guys flips the switch, right? That... Nice. 
one of these switches you can like if you kill the the bug that flips the switch before they get a chance you can um avoid it i think I, i've already mentioned it before what am i doing man i'm just tired been having some pretty uh tumultuous stuff go on uh sort of life changey sort of stuff which can be stressful but I'm glad I'm doing this I'll tell you what I've been uh, thinking that I, I would enjoy streaming for a long time but I um, never actually got around to starting and so here we are can't get up there quite yet because I don't have the mantis claw but what do you think is in that room huh could it be our beloved. So since we are so close to the claw here, I will get the claw and then we will visit the city and that will be the stream. Very nice. So this will unlock all manner of stuff in areas that we've already been in and god it feels so good to just have this now. One of the reasons that this game is so good for randomizers is as you get your, like, movement abilities out of order, um, it can create, like, really weird scenarios where you can get places that you kind of shouldn't and that kind of stuff. So I might do one of those randomizer runs uh, later on uh, in the career, but... You know what else would be fun to do on stream is play some Gartic Phone uh, with my friends. Um, that game looks like a riot uh, with a good group of people. Actually got to see um, San have AOC on to play that, which is pretty funny. Um, just, there, there was a moment where um, Hassan had to draw AOC eating pizza and it well, it didn't go well. It was it was quite entertaining. I don't know where I'm going, man. I'm just going. Yeah, can't get through here. That requires the wings to go up. So even, even as we are unlocking more movement stuff here, we are also finding stuff that we can't yet do. Which is cool. There's a lot, for a lot of those things, there are kind of cheesy ways to get around it, but... Where am I? Yeah, I think I want to go up through this room. I did miss out on some of the goodies in uh, the Mantis Village, but I am kind of tired, so I'm not going to go back for it. Where? I'm so I'm so bad. My sense of direction is just absolutely busted. It's just right up through here. Okay. Right up through here, and then we have this little platforming challenge, which will give us access to the city. Um, we can carry on with our days, respectively, everyone. Oops. Whoopsie. Don't want to be doing that. I think there's a secret if I go up here. Nice. Some soul for free. For free. Which is very nice. Oh. And then with the flick of this switch, that's the first half of the programming. Or the programming. What? Brain. My, I've got certain things on my mind, I guess, huh? The first section of the platforming is complete. And there is the second section. And here we get to insert the crest that we got from the first boss. Let's do it. That lets us right on in the city. And opens up a whole bunch of the game. I guess we will... Oh, and here we are stuck now, huh? What is this room? I don't remember this room. Oh, this is probably just the way out, huh? Oh, no. It's Geo. Oh, the way out under a condition, huh? You have to get the ground pound ability first. Whoops. I was not looking at the screen. I was looking at my phone. That's my own fault. I know there's a bench around here, right? 
Of course, I don't have the map. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there's a, a bench by the merchant. Well, let's just head over there. We see some new enemies here in the city. I love the noises that they make. Sort of soldier guys. Another one of you explodey assholes that does two damage. I think you actually don't get credit for killing them in the bestiary if they blow themselves up, so you have to use your spells for that, which is funny. Alright, you. Soldier man. I'm just gonna skip past this guy. What is he gonna do about it? Nothing. We see some lore. None shall enter, none shall leave. Well, except for me, because I am special. I think I will take damage on the top of the elevator if I don't call it back up. How are you still living? I know the uh, the first nail upgrade is actually pretty nearby too, so you can get uh, more damage once you get here, but this bench is where I wanted to get to. And it's where we are. So thanks for coming and visiting the stream. I hope the audio quality uh, continues to get better. Stream over stream here. Um, and I'll catch you in the next one with this serene uh, visage and, and such. Take care.